Hi guys, my name is Valerie and I'm going to show you um, our Amazing Hiring platform today. So um, first of all, Amazing Hiring is a search engine for tech recruiters and it works as a people's aggregator. We index over 70 different professional and social networks. We find the information about the technical stack, the experience and the contact details for the candidates and we merge it together into one aggregated profile to save your sourcing time. First of all, I wanted to uh, show you our main page. You can see that we would usually start with the AI sourcing feature, which allows you to find the more relevant candidates quicker. You can also uh, check out the search form, where you can create a more customized search if the skills or specializations within the AI sourcing for you are not available. You can also save your queries and check out the history of your searches as well. Let's start with the AI sourcing first. Why uh, don't we create, for example, a query for full stack engineers? And we will select uh, location Amsterdam. You can use multiple locations as well using Boolean operator or, or excluding the ones you do not want using not. Let's run a search. While uh, the system loads, I wanted to mention that uh, you would usually start off with uh, the profiles that have the contact details. Uh, sometimes we would have profiles that do not have direct contact um, details, but you can always uh, check them out separately as well, because we all uh, have the links to all the different social and professional networks of the candidates, which you can use as well for pre-assessment. If you would like to modify your search, you just need to uh, click on the query line and add or exclude the conditions you need. If we want extra skills, we can, for example, type in React and Python. As you can see, the system also understands different synonyms and variants that save you time for creating a longer query. If you want to narrow down the search even more, you can also start off with uh, a title here. If we add a title, you can also see that different synonyms for the titles are included as well as variants. If you want to narrow down the search even further, you can use the filters on the left. For example, we can uh, choose a seniority level, which you can both uh, exclude and include if you want. Let's, for example, exclude the executives as well. If you need um, more information about uh, the search output, for example, uh, to narrow down the search, you can use different filters like company or education. You can map the market through them as well. Within the search output, you get the previews of the profiles, which consist of the um, recent experience, the main skills, uh, different links to uh, networks that we could find, the contact details as well, and the information about the activity with the profile within the system, such as comments, which can be left by you or your colleagues information about the folders, which are also created by you and your team, plus the activity with the folder by you or your colleagues. If we uh, want to pre-assess the candidates, for example, we can check out the ranking. The rankings and um, the pre-assessments are based on the four main sources that we use for sorting as well, which you can see here. They would be GitHub, Stack Overflow, Kaggle for data scientists and Google Play for Android developers. The medals that you see, they can be gold, silver or bronze and they show your global rating of the candidate. And if we know, for example, that the candidate is, like in this case, in top 1% on JavaScript and GitHub, that means that the candidate has committed code to popular repositories. Other developers have forked his code and he has worked with the skill uh, recently. If you uh, want to contact the candidates, 
you can use the contact details here. Originally they're covered with stars, so you would need to uh, click on them to open. And when they're open, you can always see where a specific email is uh, taken from. So when you contact the candidate, please feel free to refer to the original source. So you can also um, show the candidates that you have checked out the activity and the professional work online. If you have any thoughts about the candidates, you can leave them in comments. This can be very helpful for you and your team as well. And in the future, if you would decide to find a certain candidate, you can do that through the search by adding a condition comment. You can also use the tag functionality to map the market for the future searches. In this case, you can create your own tags and then search by tags uh, in the keyword section. For example, you can choose blacklisted candidates and then exclude them from your search by adding a condition keyword and then adding a hashtag. If you like the candidate and you would like to proceed with them, you can add them to the folder. The easiest way to do it would be to drag the candidate profile to the right where we have the shortcut for the folders. These are the folders that I have, but you can create your own. To do that, you would just need to choose New Folder and create a title, description. You can add any of your colleagues as recruiters here, as well as choose the statuses you want for the system. If you'd like to share the folder with someone who does not have an amazing hiring account, for example, your CTO or tech lead to review the candidates, you can invite them through the hiring manager functionality as well. If we want to get extra information about the candidate, we can open a separate window just by clicking on the candidate's profile to see more details about the skills and the achievements. We need to click show all to see all the skills and if you want to check where the skills come from you just need to click on the skill. To get more details about the experience you can just click on the company and find the details about the technical stack of the employees who have previously been working or currently working in this country uh, and you can also find out where these um, employees usually come from and leave for exactly which companies. To understand whether someone might be willing to change the job at the moment, you might use the details on the average employment period of the candidates with certain skills within that company as well. To check out the similar profiles in regards to the technical stack, you can quickly find the suitable candidates on the right. And as I mentioned, the folders would also be available to you within the full profile and you can also select the candidate to the folder through the main profile. To continue working with your pipeline, you would need to proceed to the folders where they would be on the left. The folders would allow you to track the candidates using the different statuses that you have and the different statuses that you can create yourself in status settings. Please make sure that uh, you address your admin of your account so you can actually create the statuses that you want as they're available for creation only by the admin of your company account. If you want to work with the candidates, you can change their states within the folder or if you have sourced quite a few of them, you can also search in folder to find specific people or map the candidates that you have found. For example, if you want to see only the candidates who have worked a certain um, period of time within the company or if you want to add, for example, extra conditions for the folder. The folders would also allow you to um, download and export the details of the candidates further either to your applicant tracking system or to use them for the messaging tools. You can do that for example by choosing either everyone within the folder 
or separate candidates or just candidates with a certain status. In this case, we want only the candidates that we have marked as interested in our job. Then we choose export and through the export function we can download the candidates details within a CSV file. To do that you need to select the fields you want. Make sure to use Excel compatibility if this is a suitable way for you to open the document and we choose export. Thank you for having this quick walkthrough and we really hope that you enjoy using the system. Please contact sales at amazinghiring.com if you have any extra questions. Thank you. Bye.